hello so let's continue our jquery learning now let's say if you go to the jquery website and go into the api documentation section you'll find a lot of things okay so now while learning jquery we cannot just look up one one thing that is provided by jquery we have seen in our examples so here in my note i have pointed out what are the basic things that jquery is providing or the things that we can do with jquery there's something called as a selector like which allows us to select element class or allows us to select something on our web page which could be based on element based on its class id and attributes whatever is there in html then we have seen that we want some action to take place based on some events so events are like mouse click mouse over and so on keyboard events are there you are pressing some key something document events are there window events are there you are resizing the window or something like that then what you want to do like uh, the uh, what i would say is cosmetic effects or animated effects like fade hide slide these kind of effects are there you can manipulate your elements like you can change the content of the element you can update the css of the element you can add elements to the existing one and so on apart from that you can uh, have a traversal traversal is basically uh, selecting e other elements based on the current element or parent child relationship and all so on then we can do form handling and also ajax like if you know what ajax is writing regular ajax code is a bit lengthy with the help of jquery you can do it in a straightforward manner now this basically are the things that we are going to work with obviously i cannot just discuss about the element uh, the selector thing without referring to most of the other things so we are going to look at the different aspects uh, in association of, with these different things fine so first we will start with selectors what are the different kind of selectors and then we will proceed to the other things and in every example we might see a specific kind of event or effect or manipulation or traversal mechanism possible so let's start with this so let's take our example here in the previous example we had seen this now the first thing is selector so whatever work we want to do we have to select one of the element so the straightforward way or the straightforward selector is called as your element selector where in this dollar brackets using double quotes you will specify the name of the selector fine so here the selector name is directly the name of your html element okay h1 h2 a or whatever is there so we have button over here when someone so this becomes the basic selector so here we have associated the button with on click and we are doing some action now over here let us say we want to do something on h2 so here the h2 will be our selector fine so h2 becomes the selector so this affects h2 now interestingly when we use the element selector what it does is it basically refers to each and every element fine so here if we have another heading what's good what is going to happen is that both these select both these things are selected h2 fine all elements that are of h2 type will be selected fine so like if you select a paragraph or something all of them will be selected so that is one thing about the element selector fine so here when i say button on click if there were two buttons let us say okay we'll do that later on h2 dot hide fine this will hide now let's go to our page and here i have reloaded this page and when i say click you will see the two headings are gone hide let's add some number to it let's say 1000 this is in milliseconds transition time so now it is hidden this is the hide effect so this is one of the effects that you can apply fine one of the parts 
so the selector was h2 element based selector and effect we associated with it was hide so here basically we are saying first selector is button on which we are associating the click so when click happens on this button we want to run this particular action so the first type of selector becomes this now here we can have let us say a paragraph fine so this is a paragraph i'll just copy paste it multiple times so that the paragraph looks big okay and let's say this is a paragraph over here and if you change the selector to paragraph then what happens is it affects that paragraph now if there would have been multiple paragraphs obviously the element selector is going to work for multiple paragraphs fine so this is our element selection method now here few things we can do if you know css in the element selector or the selection mechanism here selector we can specify by comma so if i put a comma over here fine like paragraph comma h2 so now what happens is this will select paragraphs and h2 comma is important over here and let's see now what happens now we are putting two selectors over here and here when i click on this it is selecting all the paragraphs as well as your headings so while using element selectors we can directly name a particular or use the tag name as our selector and associate it with some required functionality fine it could be associated with an event or it could be associated with an effect or some other thing that we want to do so that is our first way of selecting thing is by specifying a selector multiple selectors can be specified by giving comma like h1 also here i have added so now what is going to happen is all elements that are of those criteria are selected with this so this is the element selector mechanism where i can specify a selector a single one or multiple one of them so this is going to let me select multiple elements fine now since the hide effect is there it works directly on it but if you use it let us say over here in the button part multiple selector on the button part fine let's say hide is only for paragraph button comma h1 now here the functioning will be a bit different in the sense on click gets associated with button and h1 but i cannot click both of them at the same time so the on click is now available on button and h1 so we are saying that the selector button or h1 gets associated with this but the hide effect when we used with multiple of them will immediately apply all, all of them like logically now you can understand fine okay, because i cannot click on both of them at the same time so this or this but here it does not applies as or because it one paragraph h2 h1 it will immediately apply on all of them that is what you need to keep in mind how it is working fine so here now i can use click me button or h1 so this is h1 when i click on h1 you can see this goes off fine or if i click here it will give me the same effect for paragraphs so so that's the first way of associating our or using the selector so selector is important because we want to tell where the action should take place and on which the event should take place without a selector fine like a button or something we cannot have the interaction available with this fine certain selectors like document or window or other things like document is loading a selector is there document selector is there so it will happen automatically when the script runs or something happens in the background those are different kind of selectors but still we have to specify a selector and then we can proceed with our work so the first type of selector that we have discussed now is your element selector and keep in mind that when you give a element selector it applies to all the elements that are there in the next video we will talk about 
selectors that are id or class based selectors and see the examples for them how they are useful for selecting something okay so that's it in this video